Welcome to the Sims 4 Vampires Build and Buy Mode video. I wasn't sure if I was going to do this, but um, I decided to go ahead and why not? You know, why not? So, I built a little building here because uh, normally I don't, and then I end up having to build one in, in the game when I'm looking at stuff, and I didn't want to do that, so let's go ahead and take a look at things. Uh, first, we have this nice bed. Ooh. There's like rope draped on the side of it. Very fancy. Got some plain swatches and some nice patterned bed swatches. Very fancy, we need more beds. We've got a kind of run of the mill beat up coffin. We've got a little bit fancier, still quite beat up cost er, costume, no, no, <laughs> coffin. Uh, lots of colors, are we? Oh, that was the afternoon lighting. Oh, there we go. Hmm. And then we have this very, very fancy coffin. Different colors, different metal colors. Really nice. Oh, that's a nice chair. We have this kind of high back chair, uh, kind of ovally shaped. Little detailing on it. Very nice. Got some colors. Looks like some patterns as well. Ooh, love the green. They introduced this green color. And I really, really like it. Very, very nice. We have another, is this a dining chair? Yeah, dining chair. Lots of different colors of this as well. Cool, cool. Another dining chair. This is a little bit more fancy. But I like that it comes in lighter colors. The reds are really rich too. Like they're not just simple kind of red colors. I feel like we should turn the way the sun is. Yeah, there we go. Really nice. We have, ooh, a new couch. Very stylized couch. Probably not the most comfortable thing, if I'm being totally honest, but it's still really nice. And I feel like it could uh, go well in your house if, if you uh, wanted a more fancy couch. Then we have a bench. Nice. Another quite fancy couch. Same swatches. Ooh, new counters. Yes, that is awesome. We've been desperately needing new counters. Again, that green color. They're kind of older style, but they don't look beat up. So you could easily, I mean, there's not a lot of swatches of them, but you could easily put them in like a more, not modern home, but like updated home and they would still fit in. Those are nice. I don't know. Happy to have new counters for sure. Um, what else do we got? This is a Victorian table. I'm assuming it's a dining table. Got a larger version of the same table. A nice little shelf. Cool. A new sink. Oh, it's a very like Victorian sink. Nice. Ooh, we had one of these toilets in the old games, too. Hmm, cool. Oh my god, look at that. The shower curtain is see-through. Ugh, oh, this is nice. I like this a lot. Like, honestly, that is another thing that really drives me crazy about the game is the two options of, like, bath-shower combos I don't really like. So that's really cool. <clears throat> new bar oh this is the organ which I have yet to even like see any gameplay or anything on I've been trying not to like look at too much stuff um about the game just watching a few things here and there because I don't want to ruin it too much for myself but I did see that then we've got oh nice it's like some broken down wall textures so you can make your house look like beat up Got some like peeling or holes or something. Oh, nice. You could do cracks. You could totally do like the crack from Doctor Who. Yeah, 
this. That's so cool. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Wow, like ripping wallpaper. See, now this is a vampire pack, but tell me that this does not like totally look like werewolf stuff. Because it does. Hashtag Tyler Lockwood, anybody? Um, what is this, like staining? Yes, water stains. So you can make your house look super grody. Oh, they come in different colors, too. Cool. Ooh, cobwebs. There's, like, hanging ceiling cobwebs. Oh, that's cool. It, like, comes off the wall. These are really cool. I really dig those. And the fact that they come off the wall, awesome. Go ahead and delete all that stuff. There's a lot of, like, building things in this. I've, like, this could just be used for building so much. We got a really pretty tapestry. Oh, look at the plum bob. That's cool. What are those? Flowers? Oh, and there's, like, pictures in there, too. That's super cool. I love when they do these little collages. Very vampire-y. A nice little water fountain. It looks like it with a human head instead of a lion head with, what is this guy? <gasps> That's a werewolf! Hanging werewolf wall jumper. Tell me they are not hinting towards a bigger supernatural pack coming out. Look at that. Werewolf? Yeah, that's my point. With the scratches and things. And then we have uh, a dude. Oh, that one's so pretty. She looks like Belle. Aw. These are cool. I really like that. Uh, I wonder if they're creepy, though. Do they, like, change? I hope not. We have a really pretty mirror. Another mirror. Ooh, there's a bat on this one. I love bats. That is so cool. A uh, curtain. Ooh, very fancy. Loving the rope. Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. There's like a sheer panel in this curtain. Hold on. I know that this video is just like me making excited noises, but do you see the like the sheer panel? Oh my god, that's so pretty. I love this blue one. Is it blue or is it purple? Of course, I'm on the wrong side of the wall. It's like a blue color. So pretty. Okay. Oh, look at that one, too. They did a really good job with this pack so far. I'm loving all the, like, very elegant detailing. So nice. And then we have some, like, pedestals. I'm assuming for statues or, like, urns or something. Oh, for these right here little gargoyle guy the infamous fairy statue from what was it like the sims 2 or something that's really pretty love that what is this Ooh, she looks like morticia adams or something forgotten woman statue i really like that that one's cool and then what is this guy is that a llama is it a flying llama? Is that a vampire llama? Oh my god. He has fangs. That is adorable. That is adorable. Adorable. And then it looks like you have the statues kind of pre-set up for you. Can you? Yeah, you can take that off. Awesome. And then, of course, we have tombstones in a variety of coloring and like kind of decay states is it the same tombstone? oh it's on an angle that's cool and this one's like on an angle in the ground nice so you can really make a good like spooky graveyard and then what is this is this like a carpet or oh I get it okay hold on here look you can make it as long as you want to make it like, granted, you could do other things with this. This is really, actually, really useful. But you can make, like, really long corridor rugs, which is something that I actually struggle with quite a bit in this game because I'm constantly, like, trying... Like, you'll see me size up, like, the little... The small rugs, trying to make them long, and it just makes them bigger. What is this? 
Is that just a carpet? Victorian floor rug. Oh nice, it comes in like different patterns. Quite a few different patterns. Ooh, this one's like worn. Ooh, I love that. There's so much potential for this pack. Like they've done such a good job. A new fireplace. Very classy. They're, they're tying in the gold elements I've noticed a lot too. We have a little, <clears throat> excuse me, a little hand towel. Nice. And some ivy, which is always good to have, especially if you like making your build. Ooh, more like realistic coloring, too. If you like making your builds more realistic, though, these are really great to have. Those are cool. Oh, there's more of them. Nice. Oh, there's like, they're like different, too. That's so cool. I love these. I love ivy, personally. And these are like thorn like brambles that's what they're called they have like thorns on them different colors of those too you could do like sleeping beauty's castle like the one where she's passed out because there's like all these things around it Ugh, so cool love that what is this guy oh the bird skull i remember seeing this in the preview this thing is so cool i want one of these in real life I have an obsession with skulls, like honestly, on my shelf, like my bookshelf, I have like seven or eight skulls, and I have one that I brought from France, and it's super cool, and I really want a human skull, but at the same time, I feel like that's bad juju, like, you know, to have like a real human skull. What is this? Oh, it's like a radiator. That's really cool. I don't know why they didn't like bring this out with City Living, though. Neat. We got a book. Oh, uh, like a vampire book. Antique book stand. Like an urn. That's cool. <gasps> oh. It's like a cabinet of curiosities. That is so cool. This is kind of like my bookshelf setup. I've got like skulls on it. And like, I do have like little potion y bottles. If I could just be. Like, okay, this is my theory. I think that I am a vampire partially like I'm part vampire because I've never met my biological dad so I don't know oh look at the little bat that is so cute that is very very cute um because so I don't know if he oh my god this is like the actual cutest thing though this is so cute I want that in real life anyways I don't know because basically I'll put it to you this way so I'm a ginger and basically everybody says that I don't have a soul and here's that lamp everybody and their sister has. Everybody says that I don't have a soul. I'm extremely pale. I can't be in the sun for long periods of time because if I am in the sun for long periods of time, I burn beyond control. And also, I am nocturnal. Like, I sleep during the day. I cannot sleep at night. It's awful and I hate it. And I get, I become anemic very easily. And it's just, it all adds up to me being a vampire. That's what it is. But see, that's why I'm only part vampire. Because I don't actually like drink human blood. But that's my theory. Obviously, I'm joking. But yeah. <laughs> we got this cool lamp. I swear like everybody's grandma had this lamp when I was a kid. Like this one and this one. Everybody's grandma had that. And then we have a, ooh, a very fancy chandelier with like hanging crystals. Nice. An even more fancy chandelier with hanging crystals. Uh, your two little um, wall sconce candle things. Those are nice. Different colors of those as well. What is this guy? A clock. Okay, cool and a very fancy wardrobe for some reason and i know that it's like not even a thing but i'm getting very like beauty and the beast vibes from this whole pack like fairy tale even though it's vampires um i believe that's all the decoration like buy stuff so let's go ahead and check out the uh what is it build that's the word check out the build stuff so we did get quite a few 
floor items. We have, let me turn the grid off. We have this kind of like slanted wood flooring. That's cool. We definitely don't have anything like this. That's really neat. You've got your more traditional like um, wood tiling floor. Very Victorian inspired. Some very fancy like floral carpeting again. Victorian. Yep, yep, yep. Got some Victorian tiles. Those are cool. You could do some like cool stuff with this. Like the way they overlap. Like different colors. Oh, well, that was the wrong spot. Whatever, you get what I'm trying to say. You can build some cool things with this. Um, then we have this one, which actually looks like you could lay over this one. You could, you could definitely do something with this and make like your own floor patterns as such. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Lots of potential there. And then it looks like we have some creepy stone flooring. Ooh, I actually really like the black one. That's nice. So yeah, you can make all the, the like dungeons and tombs that your heart desires. Um, let's do wallpaper next, I guess. We have some Victorian inspired kind of floral wallpaper. Um, yeah. I mean, that's nice for your more traditional homes. Then we have another one, different pattern. Again, nice for your more traditional homes. And there's another one. So I like that they've kind of thrown in like kitschy vampire stuff with like more traditional things like this. This is very, very traditional. A strong influence of the gold from the previous uh, pack as well. Ooh, those are really nice. Those are really nice. Um, I'm assuming they would go with the flooring. Looks like they have the same one, but with the corners. And then, oh, there's little bats on it. It's like another floral, but it's done in a way where there's like little bats throughout it. That is so cute. I love it. Ooh. Ooh, I love this one. My camera's like, can't even handle it. Look at how cute that is. Aw. I love that coloring so much. And the blue is pretty. Ooh, and the red. This is really nice, and you could easily make this look classy, and no one would even know it's a bat. What is this? <clears throat> it's a little, is that a little plum bob? I think it's a little plum bob bat. That's cute, too. I still prefer this one, though. Like, honestly, that is my favorite. So pretty. Um, all right, let's go ahead and put on a light wood or just a light color so that we can see so that we can see the other stuff. Um, new windows. So it looks like we have one medium window which has the inside and then the outside. Um, different coloring. Looks like it could blend in with that wallpaper. Then we have some small versions of the same window. And then these stone windows. Ooh, there's like varying levels of like decrepit. There's like cracks on some of them. That's pretty cool. So we have this window. And then we have this window. So it's the same size, a little bit different. And then a larger version of those as well cool things and let's check the doors we have this door which obviously matches that window very fancy very fancy what about this one um, let's move to this side so we can actually see a little bit better so this is like a, a double door 
probably for like your front door. Again, like this one's kind of dirty and beat up and then this one is not. So you can definitely make your haunted houses if you want to. Uh, we have some more door. Oh, look at that. It's an archway. Really, really cool archway. I really like that a lot. Probably for your dungeon needs. And then, ooh, a, th a three tile door. Is that the biggest door we have in the game? Uh, I don't know. That's a very grand door, though. Very grand entrance. And it looks like that's all for the doors. Roof detailing. It does look like we got a couple of new things. We have an accented roof dormer. Lots of different colors on this. Again, varying levels of decay. We have another werewolf. Yeah, another werewolf. Kind of in a gargoyle style that could sit on top of your house. And then one of these little classic thingies that sits on the top too. Uh, finial roof vent. Very cool. Uh, we have this thing. What is this thing called? Oh, gargoyles howl oh there's a gargoyle like yelling on it okay I see cool beans cool beans we have some new fences oh nice we have like your your typical uh, like wrought iron gate I'm assuming there's a gate to match that oh yes there is a very fancy gate again with the gold touches on it very cool. New stairs as well, like stair railings. That looks like that's what this is part of. Stair railing. We got this guy, kind of your more stone fencing. This would look good like on the roof of your house. And then we have a smaller iron gate. Lots of different coloring of this as well. Very cool stuff. And is that the only gate we got? I think that's the only gate. We have some new columns. Um, we've got this one and then a little bit more fancy. Also, it looks like this one's made out of wood and this one's made out of stone. And then we have this guy. Ornate Victorian roof line. Honestly, it looks kind of similar to the ones we already have. I'm not very impressed with this, but it's nice to have some more color options, so I guess that is okay. Um, now, I, I, it's not going to let me click on these to show you, but it looks like it's matching to this, and this one is matching to this little fence here for your stairway needs. And then we do have some new trees. We have this little pine tree. Looks like it is kind of dying. And then we have this very dead tree, which you can't change the color of. And then we have this big, big dead tree, which is really cool looking. This, ooh, that's neat. Looks like uh, this will be really cool in your cemeteries. Again, a, a big dying tree. Got some brambles for the ground. Ooh, a dried up rose bush. And a kind of dying fern. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that's all. Um, so let's take a quick look at the pre made rooms and then uh, we'll call this video good. You could just go away, that would be great. All right, so we have the antique lavatory. It's just your very old style bathroom. Very nice. We have the Athen, Ath, Athan, Athens chambers. It's a pre-made room for your coffin. We have the antiquated bed chamber. Very purple. Obviously, I think there's different colors. Yeah, so you can get a few different swatches of those if you wanted. We also have the Assonance, assonance, assonance. I can't pronounce that. Assonance, 
<laughs> I'm making an ass out of myself. Uh, yeah, forgive my mispronunciation, but we have this little organ room. We have the refined den. Nice. We have the hall of devouring. That sounds very reassuring. I would love to go to dinner there. Super cool. And finally, we have the immortal resting ground. Nice little cemetery. So there you have it, guys. This is the entire review of the stuff that you can use in the build and buy mode of the vampire game pack if i miss something i apologize i've never played with it before this is kind of like my honest run through of the first time looking at it i think that it's pretty cool um i couldn't give you my opinion on if it's worth it or not because i like i said i haven't even played it yet i just kind of look through the stuff so um in my opinion i think that if you are a builder in the sims i feel like you would really really like the fact that there's so many build items that come with this pack um there's not so many buy items but there are a lot of like build items if that makes sense so i feel like it definitely would work for a lot of sims or simmers i mean um but if i mean a lot of it is also very kind of stylized so if you're not into vampires or into like antique or goth kind of things then maybe this isn't the pack for you. Maybe you should buy your, like, or save your money and buy something that kind of suits your style a little bit more. But I personally love this kind of stuff, so I think it's fantastic. But um, like I said, I haven't played the game, so we'll see if I actually like the vampires at the end of the day. But yeah, uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video as always. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye, everybody.